Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up staggered animations and this is essentially when you have an animation then the next one runs and the next one runs I'm going to keep it simple and just have two color animations I've already got a color tween animation which I actually implemented in the previous video and this is what it does it starts at red and it transitions to blue we will restart red go through the purple phase and now it's ended up blue so what we want to do is have another animation so once it hits the blue color we want it to transition to green with a slightly different controller so we want a duplicate of the controller one duplicate of the animation and in the previous video this was single ticker provider state mixing we'll need it to be ticker provider state mixing we need it to allow us to support multiple now what we're going to do is duplicate this change that to control 2 for the time I'm going to change it to 2 seconds so it's 2 seconds but you can have the time the same that's totally up to you next we are going to sort of you know duplicate this as well but not quite because this creates it we don't want it to create it until the end of it and the reason is because we're going to set it link it up dynamically to the color of the end animation of this one so that way it doesn't matter what we change this to it'll always be dynamic and we don't want it to start until this is finished what we can do is add a status listener which takes a variable of status which as you guessed it allows us to check the status of the animation but we can say if status equals animation status dot completed you can you know check the other ones as well what we are going to do in here is essentially create this so we want this much of it um I'll put a semicolon and this is going to be animation 2 now this is going to be controller 2 and val going to be equal to animation 2 value this is going to equal to the first animation dot value and that way no matter what this ends at this will begin at that color so it makes it dynamic and now we can simply just do underscore controller to dot forward so now if we was to hot restart it just start at a red color transition to a blue color over four and a half seconds then over two seconds transition to a green color oh i never changed it did I change it? I'm gonna change it here. Red, green, blue. Oh no, sorry. No, I didn't. So the animation hopefully did work. It's just I didn't change the color, so there was no visual difference. So now again, from red to blue, and from blue over two seconds to green. So we're hitting blue. Now it's transitioning to the green color. And that's how you do staggered animation. You can do as many as you want. You can do some crazy stuff. I've done two color tween animations, but you could do all sorts of animation. And I recommend doing that as an extra task. They don't have to be linked to the same thing either. So once one animation has finished, maybe on the color of the background, another animation may be changing the font size of all the text could begin. It's totally up to you. If you have any questions though, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.